In this video, let's see how we can deploy Node.js application to the internet. When it comes to deployment, we have a lot of deployment services providers like AWS, Heroku, and many more. When it comes to deploying Node.js application, for example, if you are trying to test or play around with deployment, the popular service provider is called Heroku. But unfortunately, Heroku has stopped the free tiers, meaning that unless you've been subscribed to their plan. So as a student or if you want to play around with deployment and test your API, what will be the alternative to Heroku? And lucky for us, we are going to use what is called Render. So before we continue, we need to prepare our application for deployment. And when it comes to deployment, I would say that render is much easier compared to Heroku. So let's see how we are going to implement that. All right, like I said, we need to prepare our project for deployment. When it comes to preparation, what I mean is that we need to secure all your sensitive data into the .env file because we don't want to push this one to GitHub for any user to have access to our credentials. For this project, we have put all the sensitive data into the .env file. The next step is that we need to push this project to GitHub. So if you go to github.com, let's create one repository for this project. And for this, we have a repository where we document our API called block API version one. And this is what we have implemented in the previous videos. So we have the repository, but we don't have the files inside here. So next step is that we need to clone this project by clicking on this icon. And let me go to my terminal and navigate into my desktop. and git clone and I will paste that. And I have the folder as block API version one. Since this one is already been initialized as git, the next step is that I'm gonna copy all the code here into this folder. And here we go. All right, the next step is I need to open this one instead. So I'm gonna open that folder. And here we go. The last step is that I need to add the .env file. The next step is let's create a file called .git ignore. And I don't want to send Node.js and then the .env file to GitHub. So I'm gonna be as node-modules and dot env all right the next step is let's commit our changes clear the terminal and let's cd into block api version one and get status all right and get add get commit and then final project and git, let me clear and push, git push origin main. All right, it is pushing to GitHub and it has finished. And let's come back to GitHub and let's refresh it. And there we go. The next step is that we need to deploy this application to render. Let's get into that in the next video. In the previous video, we were able to push the application that we want to deploy to GitHub. So now let's focus on render. One cool thing about render is that they have what is called free plan. For this, we can deploy static websites and web services applications as well. The next step is that let's click on get started by creating an account. 
And here we have four options to sign up, whether GitHub or GitLab or Google or using email and password. For this one, we are going to use GitHub because for this one, it will make our life easier. And also, Render is going to look up inside our repository and sync into a project of which we want to deploy. So let's click on GitHub. And for me, I have an account already. So I'm going to click on sign in with my GitHub account. And there we go. Because for me, I have a couple of projects I have deployed. That is why we see something like this. But if you don't have it, don't worry. Click on new. And here we have a couple of services. Static, this one is for deploying, let's say, React application and static website and web services for deploying backend applications like Node.js. And this is what we are going to use. So let's click on web service. And here you can see that we have all the repository inside GitHub. And the one that we want to deploy, we need to select that. For us, we are going to deploy the block API version 1, which is 6 minutes ago. And let's click on connect. And we have these options to fill up the name of our project. And we have the root directory. For this one, we are going to leave it as default. And for the environment, because we are developing Node application, we are going to select Node. Then the region for this one, I will select the default one. And for branch, we are going to use main because that is what we specified when we were pushing to GitHub and this is a branch. Make sure that you use the exact name of the branch inside the render. And next step is the build command. For this, it's going to use yarn. In case you don't have yarn being installed, then you are going to use npm run as npm run. But for me, I have it already, so I'm going to make use of yarn here. All right. Then the start command, we are going to use what is called node and then server.js. Make sure that you have the file called server.js. And for this application, indeed, we have the server js and also it must be the name inside the package.json file at server.js because it's going to use npm run start or yarn start to run application use node that is what is being specified as that and that is it and here we have a couple of options based on the plan and we are going to use the free plan before deploying, let's provide the name of our API and I'll call this one as block API dash version three dash iNovotech. The name is up to you and let's scroll down and click on create web service. Here it says that if we are using free plan, the building process will be slower. At least it can take, let's say, three minutes or four minutes or two minutes. All right. So let's have some patience while render is doing it magic. All right. Finally, we have build success, but unlucky for us, our application couldn't start. It says that the URL parameter to the open URL must be a string but it got undefined, meaning that it was trying to connect to our MongoDB. That's why we have what is called failed. So what is the problem? The issue is that inside the application, we use the environment variables inside the application, for example, the MongoDB URL, but upon deploying, it couldn't find that file. So how are we going to add the environment variables? And when I'm pretty easy using render. So let's click on environment and here we go. And here we are going to add our environment variables. Click on that. And let's start with the MongoDB URL. So provide the key. The value here is going to be the entire MongoDB connection string. Provide that and add new one. Gonna be the JWT. So 
So as soon as I click on save, it's going to redeploy the application. So let's click on save. Let's click on event. And you can see that it is deploying it again. So let's click on that. And you can see that it is redeploying the application for us. So let's have some patience. After that, we we'll come back to it. All right, finally, we have it being deployed and our DB has been connected and it is live. And this is a URL for our application. So let me copy and open in a new tab and let's have a look. And we have it as that. But we got what is called route not found. The problem is that inside our application, there is no endpoint to handle the home route. So the logic here is that I want to fetch all the posts as soon as a user go to the main endpoint or the home route. So inside here, I'm going to bring in the post model. So let's get back to the server file and let's bring in the post model as that. And I'm going to create one route as the home route. All right, going to be as app dot get and forward slash request and response and try and catch dress dot json pass in the actual error and const post is equal to await and that is it res dot json status success and then the data is equal to the post found for this one unless we push to github again gonna be as git add git commit and message is update and git push origin main All right, so let's go ahead and then redeploy the application. So here, click on manual and click on deploy latest commits. And here we go. Let's have some patience while render is doing its magic. All right, it has finished and DB has been connected. So let's refresh the application and let's see. And we have all the posts being fetched. All right, this is how we can deploy Node.js application to render.